Simone, and then um, you see we lost two of our crew because we heard some four wheelers running around, and uh, so we decided to split up. Um, me and the gentleman I was with, uh, Sidewinder, uh, him and I snuck up uh, right in the middle of everything. And there was police bombing around, and, um, and then I lost contact with him when I was uh, creeping up slowly on uh, the yarder. Um, when I got to the yarder, it was a um, completely dead scene and everything got up there, and uh, there was absolutely no one locked down on the machines. They had already like you know pepper sprayed and tore people out of there. And, um, you know, I, I guess I, I I knew that it needed they needed further assistance um, down the road. So I, I heard it I heard people yelling about a um, bipod coming down. Bipods coming down or or the consens consensus of the the group on the bipod was um, to come down out of there, snow gets hurt because the police were threatening to uh, you know, cut it down or lower it, which would be pretty bad, you know, if someone would get hurt. And um, there was really no um, information getting to the bipod as um, to like stay up there, video supports coming in. Uh, so I ended up getting over there and uh, everybody was going there too and the bipole was down and there was there were police all over the place and um, I got spotted um, on the back side of their little log deck there where the bipod is supposed to be at that time it was totally down and uh, they were shoveling in the holes for the, the post holes, um, shoveling with dirt. And um, that's when the officers ran out in the woods looking for me. And I was like, oh my god, they caught me. So I scurried up a tree real quick in a wink of an eye. And, um, and they were searching everywhere for me for at least like a um, half hour, 45 minutes or... How do you think they knew that you were there? Well, there's this one lady officer, she was like stating that she swore she saw somebody in the in the bushes or swore she heard something and they're all like, yep, we think we've heard something too, da da da. And they're all running around in the forest looking for me. It's a good thing that they're really not used to looking up in the air for people because that's where I was. And, uh, I tried breaking out the video camera to film this because, I don't know, I myself found it a little comical about it all. They didn't, obviously. But I was trying to break out the video camera. I couldn't do it because I was holding myself up on these like dead branches and and I was holding holding one limb with my left hand um, from my, it was like almost at the verge of snapping, you know, I was just holding with my fingers and trying to get the view camera out and holding myself balanced up there. It was, it was pretty wild. Yeah. Um, I spent the whole day up there and uh, they all cleared out after that. Oh. That same tree I was in, um, I climbed up to the top of it to see if I could get better footage of the ground and everything when the officers uh, left the brush looking for me. And I, I got uh, a videotape. I videoed um, a whole group of people from Monster Village, I believe, um, in the back of a truck and I gave them the old Earth First like howl and stuff. And was, yeah, 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 Earth First! They're all like screaming and yelling and and you know they seemed um, pretty 
joyous to be arrested. <laughs> um, I guess. <laughs> I was glad they didn't arrest me. You know, maybe they can arrest me some other day. Yeah.